Hi guys, so this is just going to be a pretty quick update video, uh, just about what's going to come up on the channel uh, pretty soon and all that kind of jazz, so I'm just going to have a wander around while I'm doing this. Uh, so I've got going to try and do um, basically one small tutorial a day, and then on the Saturday I'm going to have like a big tutorial, like a, 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 I'm going to do this, the Sven Eastvan, the battleship that I built. It's going to be a tutorial on that, but the daring which is going to come up, this is going to be quite soon actually, the daring I'm probably going to do very soon. Um, as well as, of course, the Sheffield class uh, destroyer as well. So I've got a couple, a couple of like new ships that have kind of been built. Um, some of them are pretty massive. I mean, you can see the size between the battleship here and then the new English kind of, well, new British uh, destroyer. It's crazy the actual size that our destroyers are now bigger than battleships. It's just nuts, really. But. <laughs> Yep, so there's going to be those coming up, um, so it's going to be every Saturday I'm going to try and get out a big tutorial. Um, so by big tutorials I kind of mean ships over around about 60 metres, I think. Uh, it doesn't have to be ships, I've still got the uh, Boeing 747 to actually get done as well, I'm going to do that tutorial pretty soon. So you should basically have, we well, have five small tutorials a week and a big one, that's the plan, as long as nothing goes wrong. Uh, so I'm just going to try and find my airfield. Um, yeah, air, kind of aircraft week has been going on for like it's probably going to be at least an aircraft month. You, you guys have given me loads and loads and loads of suggestions of what to do, um, and you know I've built up huge amounts of aircraft now. Um, I've got a couple more like passenger liners coming in as well. Can't remember which one this one is. So that's a McDonnell uh, McDonnell Douglas M D11, uh, which is quite cool as well. It's not as big as the Boeing, but it's got still got quite a lot of space inside. So I've got kind of that coming up. Um, of course, the Concord tutorial. I've got the Fairchild. That was that should be up soon. Um, hopefully, I'm planning on doing it. It's quite a cool. It's quite a cool plane. If I can get inside, that is, which is always really difficult. I hate doors like this. This is stupid. I have to make ramps for them. I can't be bothered to get inside, but it's quite cool inside. Just trust me. So yeah, Boeing 747 is going to come out. I'll just fly over the airfield. There's a couple new builds that you guys might not have seen. So I've got lots of fighters. Um, because the fighters are quite small, uh, it is kind of, you know, they are starting to look similar. And there's some that I'm not happy about still. I've tried to make like a red arrow. It's not quite right, so I'm still kind of messing around with that. Uh, but it's based off the uh, BAE Systems Hawk. Um, so I might just do a Systems Hawk and then try and do a kind of red arrow, arrow colour scheme. We've got more fighters coming out like the F-14, 15 and 16, uh, Strato Fortress I've still got to do, as well as um, a couple of the med uh, medieval <laughs> planes, <laughs> a couple of the World War II planes. Uh, I have built an Avro um, Vulcan as well, Vulcan bomber, which was used in the Falklands by the British. It's quite a famous kind of bomber. It looks quite cool as well, the wing shape's really awesome. Um, so I've got that coming up soon as well. Uh, most of these helicopters actually you've already got, uh, as well as the Sop with Camel, somebody asked for that, so I built that one, that was really easy. I've got these two big, uh, huge uh, Russian helicopters coming out very soon as well. I mean, this one is just massive. And if I can get on the inside, I can show you guys, there we go. Yeah, I mean, the interior of this helicopter, it was so big that they couldn't actually get it to fly, so... You know, I mean, look, it's kind of more of a plane, to be honest, but it's, that's awesome. Really, really cool. So there should be a tutorial coming out for that soon. Um, got the Super Fortress and the Flying Fortress. The Lancaster Bomber. Uh, I recorded that this morning, so you guys should have that tutorial out very, very soon this week. And it should start off getting all these World War uh, II kind of fighters and also mainly the bombers and things like that. It's the C40, C-47, yeah, Sky Train or Dakota as it's known by the British. Um, just used for like parachuting people and things like that. Really cool. Um, so yeah, I'll just change the day before. There you go. Yeah, so I've got quite a lot. Uh, the World War II fighters, uh, they're kind of really difficult to do because I want to get everything to scale. So pretty much all my builds are, are, are one block equals, you know, one meter, one meter cubed. So I kind of wanted all my fighters to be the same like World War II ones, but they don't look as much like that one, I've also had to you know, change the colour to get the wings to look right and I've had to use like half slabs and things like that. I could do a really blocky ones but I'm 
I don't know, I, I kind of like shaping things and trying to make it look as, as close to the ones as possible. Um, so I've got lots of things, the Heinkel uh, HE uh, like 100, 111 should be out soon as well. Um, B2 Bomber as well, I'm working on that one at the minute. Um, and I'm also working on setting up some sort of redstone thing for the middle as well, which is going to be really, really cool. So you'll actually be able to bomb things. So I might do, I'll do that in the tutorial as well. So I'll take all this out and put in TNT so you can actually set them all up, maybe with a button in the cockpit, something like that. I'm going to try and do that, so that'll be really, really cool. Um, so let's just keep on flying around. So yeah, there's still quite a few air aircraft coming around. I've still got a build. I've only got about, I think I've got about eight left um, on my request list. So quite good going so if you guys have any other kind of any other things like aircraft you want me to build just pop it in the comment section on any of my vids I'll, I'll pick it up and put it on a list um, and also I did have a request for more World War 2 vehicles but they didn't say which ones and I'm not very good at I don't know that many uh, World War 2 vehicles so if you guys have any requests for those as well just you know pop, pop them in the comments because I'm not too sure kind of uh, what that subscriber wanted, you know, exactly. Um, I have built the Hetzer Jagged Panda 30, 38, um, so I've built a version of that. And it's my only tank that's actually on even, because the gun's kind of on this side, so... That tutorial will just will take a couple of minutes, so if you guys want to see that, I'll, that won't take long at all. Um, also, the Schwerer Gustav is going to be coming out soonish, I think. Um, I've got a couple of ships and, and maybe a sub or something like that tutorials to do first. Um, so here I've got the Canadian Patrol boat, I'm pretty sure I did a promo video on this one, this is the Kingston class. Uh, the tutorial will be coming out for that one as well, it's it's kind of cool, it's like nice kind of ships to actually have next to your big ships because then you can see the complete like size kind of scale between them. You know, and since this is about I don't know, 60 odd meters long, so it's good size scale. Um, I've got a new one over here, which the tutorial will be coming out on Saturday. Which this is um, an Australian patrol boat, which looks really, really cool. It's the uh, Armadale class. That's the one. <laughs> yeah, Australian. It's the Armadale class patrol boat. So I've got that coming out soon. I've already done the tutorial for that one. Um, I've, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do this one this Saturday instead of uh, doing a sub. But there will be a there will be a submarine coming up probably the next week after. Um, I've also got another Australian ship here as well, which is, uh, I can't even remember what this one's called. <laughs> Sorry guys, uh, give me a second. Okay guys, so I've got the Paluma uh, class patrol boat, which is another Australian ship, which is this kind of really wide, kind of short one, which is it's quite cool, it's a bit different. Um, it's also got this bit here going, which goes all the way through the middle of the ship. So it's a bit different, quite cool. Um, really easy build, so that one's just going to be a normal tutorial it won't be a weekend big one, it's just going to be a normal one. Whenever I get around to, to doing it, it'll just be a bit longer than the, the rest. Um, the Sandown class as well, I built that, that's that's a new one. So that that's a pretty easy one, I'm not that happy with it. It's very square, <laughs> the actual ship itself is really square on that part there. And I have no idea how to break it up, so I don't know. Um, I'm just going to fly over Jag Thunder's ridiculously massive enterprise. Um, the HMS Queen Elizabeth. So a lot of people have been asking, you know, how's this going on? It's almost done. I mean, it's really, really close to being done. Um, I've only got a little bit left. I've done the kind of side bits now, well, on one side anyway. The towers are done as well. I've got the massive bridge, which is huge. So this is the bridge section here. I've built um, F-35 Lightning II fighters as well, which should be coming out as a tutorial. Um, See, I've got that coming up. That, if people want a tutorial on this, it's going to take ages. Um, and it'll probably be, the video length for a tutorial this big will probably be about seven hours. It's going to be quite long. So the only thing I've got to finish on this is just underneath the wing part here. Uh, the bit that's sticking out, so it's just empty at the minute, so I just need to do the side parts of that. Uh, but it is looking quite sexy. I'm really, really happy with it. It's my first one ridiculously massive ship. I mean, it's over 300 meters long on the deck. Uh, I've got the flight deck in here as well, the flight tower, so it's quite different from the American style 
with the one tower. Instead, what they've done is they've got a bridge on one tower uh, or island, and the second island um, is completely for the flight stuff. So I've got a couple of my other builds. I've got the um, Westland Lynx as well. Um, so this just got the wings folded back, and it can actually fit the, the uh, lifts themselves can fit two of them in, and the other lift I've actually got the uh, two F35s as well. They actually fit on there, which is quite cool. And I haven't really done anything on the interior yet, which is why it's just a big hole with, <laughs> you know, it's a big dark hole at the minute. Uh, but yeah, so it's got its own like flight control tower, which is awesome. Uh, with this bit jutting out, which actually. I kind of built it as scale to possible, and actually when I went into it, I was like, oh, you actually get a huge kind of view of the entire flight deck, which is pretty amazing, really. I mean, I didn't realise, um, you know, I thought, oh, two islands, that's not going to make much difference. You know, it's a different design, yeah, it's not going to make much difference. But actually, from that part, you can see the entire flight deck, which you can see most of it on the uh, USS Enterprise, but you can't see all of it. So I've just got. It's also going to have chinooks on it as well. So I've got. I put a chinook on there for my tutorial, which is quite cool. And it does fit on quite nicely. The chinook's pretty massive, and uh, it just doesn't, you know, <laughs> too much. But yeah, I've already laid on. It's got about 30 of these F-35s, so it's pretty much to scale, guys. Uh, so I keep on flying down this way. Uh, the Nelson. If people do want a tutorial on it, I'll do it. It's really. That should be quite an easy build because it's one of my own, so that's quite cool. Uh, I do need to put aircraft on it actually now that I've seen it, it's quite, it looks quite bare. Oh yeah, Jag's goddamn massive, like Yamato, that's just stupid. Uh, which one's this? This is the Duke class frigates. This is a really cool ship. Uh, it actually took me ages to get all these side bits and all the detailing on it. I think it's just because I've gone kind of crazy with it, I don't know why, but there's definitely a tutorial plan for this. Um, and I'll just go into the new part of of what I've been building. All right, guys. So I'm here, kind of on the. This is kind of an island, which is just. This is a road that's actually connecting into my city that I haven't put in yet. So it's gonna be a bridge going over. But this is um gonna be kind of um where I'm gonna be building kind of like suburbs uh, for my city. It's gonna be like where all the rich people are. Um, which is really cool. Um, the kind of modern builds as well, which I've just been trying to play around with, and they're also actually fully done on the interiors which I hardly ever get round to so they've actually got full interiors um, so I'm probably going to do some tutorials on on building like houses and things like that as well just because they're quite fun it's a bit different as well um, oh I've got a weird oh yeah it's because I haven't updated this this version yet so I'm just missing out bits so yeah, there's quite a few cool little things in here um, I've been using the daylight sensors as solar panels and actually work quite well and of course, you got to have like a jacuzzi kind of thing on the top of your building because you're rich. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start doing modern tutorials. This is just a bit I've been building up. Um, I'm quite happy with this house. I don't like the look of it on the outside, but the inside looks pretty cool. It's got its own pool. It's the kind of completed version. So yeah, there's quite a lot of design stuff. Massive TV, of course. You know, we've got a nice upstairs as well goes through, you got another TV as well. Uh, that, that's that's what I kind of came up for it. <laughs> that's what I came up for, like with the barbecue, that's it. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, nice pool as well. They've got their own private pool in the back garden. It's cool. And all the goddamn trees are just shaking like crazy with this. Um, so I'm gonna start doing tutorials on, on housing as well. Um, I'm not too sure what what do you guys want? Do you want like modern houses or skyscrapers or more, like medieval houses? I'm quite good at medieval as well. Um, there's also going to be a load of yacht tutorials as well. I'm going to start doing loads of different sizes. Uh, this one was based on I've actually got it written down in the bottom here. Yeah, the Absolute 43 Fly. So this one's based on it. It's not an exact version of it, but I'll start doing yachts. So this island is going to be filled up with kind of houses and stuff like that, which would be really cool. Um, but the island is, itself is actually pretty big, it's about 600 meters by 600 meters, so it's pretty massive. I'm just going to go to the other side, this is the thinnest part, and this is the main road that will be going through it from the bridge. Okay, so now I'm at the hotel that I built, and I've got getting like crazy amounts of lag. Uh, the main reason is because I've done the entire interior on, on the section that I've been working on anyway. You can see it's not finished yet. Oh my god, the lag is actually unbelievable. 
Um, hopefully if I look away it's alright. I actually get lag on it even without shaders, so... Yeah, as soon as I look towards it, but... It's quite a nice resort. I'm going to turn off shaders quickly. Okay, so with shaders off it's still laggy as hell, and it is no matter what. It's just because I've done every single room with quite a lot of detail. Um, so yeah, this is one of my resorts on the beach. So I've made a kind of really nice beach area as well. So this is on that island, the kind of modern housing island. It's going to be like a resort across here, a couple more hotels and things like that. Which will be really cool. I've got a nice big pool um, and all those kind of things. So this is... Just show you guys one of these rooms if I can actually get in without it being super laggy. So I've started doing lots of interior work, which I hardly ever do. Like, ever, so... I do have quite a nice interior, and I think this hotel itself has about... I think I'm planning on having about 400 rooms in it, um, something like that. I think at the minute it's on 200. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the update. There's just going to be... So that uh, just kind of summarize everything. There's going to be five small tutorials a week. I still need ideas on those kind of things, so... You know, I kind of need your, your help, guys, just to give me give me some ideas for some some new tutorials, um, and there's probably going to be a big tutorial every Saturday, that's what I'm planning on doing, uh, hopefully I get around to it, I mean, I've already got a couple of them kind of in the works, so they're already getting started and things like that, and I'll see you guys on the next video.